Chief AJ's Mystic America, Fire and Ice. We're going into the caldera of an ancient volcano. We're going inside ice caves and lava tubes. Let's go. Chief AJ here with Chief AJ's Mystic America. Now, my show is dedicated to the United States of America. And we have more mystic places than any place else on earth. So to do that, we're doing this. And uh, right now, where are we now? Right now, you guys are at the ice caves in Bandera Volcano, the land of fire and ice. Are we in New Mexico? Mm-hmm. Right near Granson, in between Granson and Rima. And we're not very far from the actual continental divide. Oh yeah, that'll be right up at the volcano actually. It goes directly through the center of it. Looking down into the volcano that Erica was talking about, you can see the caldera. Now the continental divide goes right through this, about 8,300 feet. And we can get right up there into it. Now, this volcano was how many years ago? Its last eruption was 10,000 years ago, which is actually one of the youngest eruptions that we know of on this continent. So we're going to go right inside of the caldera? Uh-huh, you'll go up right almost to the rim. You'll still have it rising above your head another 300 feet, and then you're looking down into it about 500 feet from where you're standing. So we'll be in the actual volcano? Mm-hmm. And is there volcanic tubes? And so, what happened was blasted out the side of that about 10,000 years ago was a lava tube. What happens is the lava flows out, all the outer edges harden, but the inside stays molten. Now that flows out, leaving behind that hollow lava tube. Of course, some sections of that collapse in because the lava that was on top too thin to hold anything. So that goes in, the rest of it that's thick enough, that stays intact. Is there some kind of air current? that causes the ice? So what happens is with our lava tube cave that we have, air goes down during the winter and it stays trapped down there. Now that's because the back end of the tube collapsed in, creating just this closed off circulation. So that's the mystic part. Mm -hmm. Plus the fact that lava is a great insulator. It keeps the ground temperature from coming in, which would actually make a cave about 60 degrees in this area instead of 31. So you have a natural refrigerator. Basically, yeah. That's actually what they used it for when the family first came here, too, because they didn't have electricity up here. Okay, so we're going inside a volcano in Chief AJ's Mystic America. From Erica's headquarters, it's about a 40-minute hike on up to where we can stand where the big explosion happened. Again, from the air, the white patches are ice that is naturally formed at the openings of the lava tubes. Lava tubes. Now, that is mystic. Chief AJ's Mystic America. I take you to places in the United States of America that are truly fantastic. People lived in these lava caves and they left behind several things like pottery. So we did find a couple of skulls around in the area. One of them was this one up here that was found in the ice and that was mined out when people used to come and get their blocks to use for their refrigerators. Then we found another one actually on the side of the volcano. And this one's this one right down here. So right here. And you can definitely see the difference in wear and tear on those from being out in the elements and being stuck in the ice. So that's just an interesting little feature. Thank you, Erica. No problem. Tradition has it, Native American people who were outcasts and renegade lived in these caves.
Let's go on down the trail now. And we can see an aerial view where we're going. That is the blowout of a lava tube where the hot lava came on up out of the tube from under the volcano and went out forming all these big lava beds. So where else and who else would show you a blown out lava tube? Let's go right to the top of the stairs. So take us down in there. Lava, lava tubes. This is a section of a collapsed lava tube. A lava tube is formed when the molten lava pours out of a volcano. The surface hardens while below the lava continues to flow. The porous lava acts as an excellent insulator and keeps the lava hot beneath the surface. This creates a pipeline of lava known as a lava tube. This is the Bandera lava tube. Its overall length is 17.5 miles and is considered to be the longest in North America. Most of the lava tube has collapsed, but there are caves here and there such as one below. On the other side of the tube, you will see two logs. Those made up one of the original ladders used to climb down into this cave. I'm at the top of 176 stairs that will take us right on down to the major ice cave. We're going down to the very opening of an ancient lava tube called the ice cave. Now 176 steps would have been easy um, back when I won the Mr. Caveman title letter physique contest but now at uh, age 80 it's a task but I've always wanted to go inside of a lava tube and now do it with me I can feel the temperature dropping. Uh, right here is the entrance. We're going into a lava tube right now. I can just feel it. It's mystic standing inside of a lava tube of an ancient volcano. Mystic America, it certainly is. Now we're going down to look at the ice. Back into the lava tube, and here's a natural refrigerator. There's ice all inside of this lava bed, high desert. Can I tell you why it's green? Shh, preach on. The greens and oranges that you see on the lava are lichen and moss. The moss here is an alpine moss and it is very rare this far south. The scaly looking green and orange growth is lichen. The temperature in the cave never gets above 31 degrees Fahrenheit. As rainwater and snow melt seep into this cave, the ice floor thickens. The floor of the ice is approximately 20 feet thick. The deepest ice is the oldest and dates back 3,400 years. The green tint is caused by an arctic algae. The back wall has formed in the early days when the ancient Indians and early settlers mined the ice. 
1946, ice removal was stopped, at which time the ice wall was nearly 12 feet high. Since then, the ice floor has risen relative to the back wall. The rate of ice accumulation varies with annual rainfall. The cause of original ice formation 3,400 years ago is not certain. However, perpetration of the ice is due to a combination of existing conditions that make a natural ice box. 20 feet of ice is a well-insulated cave shaped to trap frigid air. The ice cave was known to the Pueblo Indians as the Winter Lake to help preserve this delicate environment, stay off the ice. So now, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking back into the darkness of a lava tube. This lava tube goes on and on, and what lies back in there for you to discover? Part of Chief AJ's Mystic America. It has been a hoot playing caveman again to bring you Chief AJ's Mystic America Fire and Ice. Now check out my website.